this is a piece I played when I was a, quite young, when I was a, a teenager, and my teacher at the time had some very strict views on it. So I'm going to give you two performances. I'm sort of going to give you my teacher's version, if you will, first, and then probably more the way that I'd want to play it. I'm not trying, I'm not, I, I'm deliberately trying to play it well both times. I, I'm honestly trying to give a, um, a convincing account of the first one. I'm not trying to hobble my teacher's um, idea of this piece. And I don't want, obviously, to have a really bad performance on YouTube by me. So I'm, I'm, I'm playing it with good legato and, and you know, some sense of, of shape and so on. But I'm playing it very strict time, very, almost metronomic timekeeping, um, and not too much dynamic variation, so fairly sort of even. And that's the way he preferred it. He had this idea about, about Bach, and to some degree also about Mozart, that they should be played without any romantic expression, um, which I think is a little strange. Personally, uh, I think music is music. Um, I think these ideas about interpretation are kind of invented ideas. We can't travel back in time or bring Bach to life and ask him, uh, which he prefers. Also, the modern piano, very different keyboard instrument from, from what was available in Bach's time. I'm playing it on the New York Steinway D from, in Pianotech. Very different sounding instrument from a harpsichord or a clavichord from, from Bach's day. So you treat it, you treat the instrument differently anyway. And who knows? how it was played, really, in Bach's day. There are a lot of treatises written about uh, something called not inegal, unequal notes, that, you know, this this danger of playing too mechanically was, was you know, was addressed. People said the notes should be unequal, not equal, otherwise it sounds strange. Um, hopefully it doesn't sound strange. I've tried to say, I've tried to do a decent, a decent account uh, and I'm trying to play well, but in this very reserved way, without without those kind of tempo yieldings at cadences, without a little bit of a, a kind of expressive um, sort of reach at the tops of phrases or anything like that, just very nice and, and, and sort of even and level rhythmically and dynamically. The second performance, much more romantic, I suppose, Fe feeling the, the, the sort of storytelling of the music, allowing that flexibility to come in. Still a very strong groove. I, I do not like breaking the groove when you hear rubato in classical um, piano playing that breaks the groove. Personally, I don't like it because the, the music stops making sense. So you can still feel, you know, if you like, the dance, the groove of the music, but in this way that's more stretchy, it yields, it expresses more dynamics. So see what you think. Two performances of Bach's Fugue in F-sharp minor from book one of the 48. <laughs> 